What up, everybody? It's uh, Jared. I'm glad you can join me for another uh, Throwback Thursday on GGG. What is this going to be like? The third? Yeah, like the third uh, FPS in a row. Anyways, uh, this week's game is uh, Rainbow Six and its expansion, Eagle Watch. Now, you're probably all questioning why I decided to do both. Technically, Eagle Watch is the expansion, and it came in the gold pack that I bought. But that's not the only reason. Eagle Watch was a lot more compliant when I came to actually trying to record it than uh, the base game. It took me actually a while to figure out how to get the base game to start recording. Anyways, I got it solved out, so now I have some gameplay footage. Anyways, uh, R6 was released on August 21st, 1998 for the PC. Well, the game shares its name with the uh, popular Tom Clancy book, Rainbow Six. <laughs> Uh, which is a good book, I will admit. I actually really enjoyed that book. Anyways, the uh, plots don't match for the entire uh, game length or novel length because the novel was released a bit after the game, like a few months. I don't know how many months exactly, but you know. All of the characters match within the game though, like their names and what their roles are. Well, m at least 99% anyways. But uh, okay, so anyways, the plot. Team Rainbow is a newly created international counterterrorism unit with its uh, first missions being against the Phoenix Group. As the team investigates what seems to be some random attacks, they discover that the cell is linked to the multinational biotech corporation Horizon Inc. Uh, the company plans to release a highly contagious Ebola virus at the Olympics and kill off most of the human race to protect nature. Instead, uh, Ra Team Rainbow kills off these mag men. Alrighty, so let's get on to facts, shall we? Fact number one, Red Storm Entertainment, the uh, publisher and developer of Rainbow Six, was founded by Tom Clancy himself. Rainbow Six was originally going to be based off the FBI's uh, hostage rescue team when Red Storm decided that they wanted to make go international counterterrorism, and they decided that they would, you know, start to develop this counterterrorism game. And then they found out uh, Clancy was writing Rainbow Six, so they modeled the game after his book after reaching some sort of licensing agreement. Fact number two, Rainbow Six is one of the first tactical FPSs ever. It can be directly linked to phrases such as like one shot one kill and tango down being introduced to gamers as like a common phrase. Rainbow Six also set the standard for cooperative tactical multiplayer. Uh, fact number three, Rainbow Six is the only game in the series which does not fail you for getting Ding killed or in fact any of the named characters killed. Like you can get your entire squad killed. Like every single named person in the game could be killed off and you have a bunch of squad of reserve. Alrighty. Fact number four, the N64 port of uh, Rainbow Six utilized every button on the controller. Uh, I don't really know very many games like for the N64, but I'm quite sure that is extremely rare. Anyways, uh, critics praised it for being highly realistic, but were upset by the awkwardness of the layout of the controls because they had to keep swapping between the uh, different handles. Because you know how the N64 has like three, and normally you hold like the center and like the left, I believe, but they had to keep swapping like right and left, and yeah, it's a mess. Anyways. Fact number five, Rainbow Six is uh, widely known for being highly realistic, probably among one of the highest uh, in, the real, in the realism department that I've seen in a game, like, ever. Uh, along with the uh, usual one-shot kill, or if you're lucky for, like, yourself, two shots leads to your death, instead of just one shot leads to your death. Uh, in Rainbow Six, you also can't revive or heal. The gun performance uh, reflects that of uh, real life instead of, like, you know, Call of Duty. And then, uh... You use like the go codes and like the planning phase instead of just like just go go kill. You actually have to plan out your missions. And the use of like silenced guns as a tactical choice is actually you know a tactical choice instead of like an aesthetic one as of you know newer games where they're just like oh look a science gun that's cool. In this one, there's actually some point to having a silenced gun. So not always do the AI reflect that, but that's it's because it's an older game. Um, and also the. Uh, the high reliance on squad mates instead of being like a one-man army as we saw like in Medal of Honor where I just rolled through there with a gun and shot everything or Battlefield 2 where I could essentially roll around and just shoot everyone too. This one you actually had to use squad mates because without them I got shot a lot. Anyways, review. Rainbow Six is a fun yet very punishing game. Uh, one wrong step can like cost you the whole mission, but being alert and thinking ahead can save you also. The game AI isn't as intelligent as you would like for like your teammates, and uh, everybody in the game is essentially an expert marksman. Though the game can uh, award you that uh, satisfaction, that sense of satisfaction that you get after you complete the mission because you know that you were the one who did it. 
you're you know you're the one who planned it you're the one who executed it you're the one who uh went in there did the job and it wasn't just you know the fact that you had a lot of health or they had an absurd amount of teammates and then you could just sit back i personally think the game was great but because of a few downfalls and like within ai or just the more or less dryness of the missions like while you're doing them there's not like a lot of differences just go in find person escort them out or go in kill people leave type thing there's no like it doesn't vary it as much as i would like but then again it's still good for being you know because you have to plan it out and it's not just like the same type of planning you have to watch out for like corners different buildings environments whatever but because of the some of the issues i have to give it a 7.9 out of 10. i just couldn't give it an 8 because it was just off but anyways, if you got uh, questions, comments, or just plain gibberish, put it in the comments below and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis. Objective complete. Thank you.